And we're joined now by Arjun Makijani, an engineer, an engineer specializing in nuclear fusion. He's the president of the Institute for Energy and Environmental Research. Johnny, let me start with you. Translate for us first to bring us up to date. What exactly is the problem now and how serious is it? So there are a couple of different problems. Mm -hmm. Uh, one of the problems is what they've found in the groundwater and what actually is there. So, so far we've been concerned about an element called cesium, cesium-137 and mm -hmm. 134, which is radioactive. But now they have found strontium-90, which is much more dangerous, at levels that are 30 times more than cesium. So to give you an idea of the level of contamination, if somebody drank that water for a year, they would almost certainly get cancer. Mm -hmm. So it's very contaminated. Mm -hmm. So that's one problem. The other is the defenses to hold back this water from the sea seem to be overcome. So now the contaminated water, 70, 80,000 gallons is flowing into the sea every day. And do we know how far out to sea this contaminated water is going and what happens to it when it goes into the sea? Well, when it goes into the sea, of course, some of it will disperse and dilute. Mm -hmm. Some of it goes into the sediments, and some of it is taken up by the life in the sea. And the unfortunate thing about strontium especially is that it bioaccumulates in algae, it bioaccumulates in fish, it tar targets the bone because it's like calcium. Mm -hmm. And so this is a problem. We don't have measurements far out to see. The Woods Hole Institute has done some surveys, and they were surprised by how much continuing radioactivity they found, but no clear explanation yet.